Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in natural response and forced response using Laplace transform. Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss the natural response and forced response of the system. Natural response is the response of the system due to initial values of the output alone. Here we have to consider the input signal as 0, that is x of t is equal to 0. The best example for this natural response is an oscillator circuit. Oscillator is a device which can generate the waveforms without any input signal. So in oscillator there is no input signal. The response of the oscillator is known as natural response. Due to this zero initial condition we can call it as the zero input response. That is the natural response is also called as zero input response. The next one is forced response. It is the response of the system due to input alone. Here the initial values of the output signal are considered as 0. That is y of 0, dy of 0 by dt, d squared y of 0 by dt squared all are equal to 0. Forced response is due to the input signal alone along with its initial values. The first problem is to find the natural response of the given system described by the differential equation as d squared y of t by dt squared plus 6 dy of t by dt plus 5 y of t is equal to 4 x of t plus d squared x of t by dt squared. Here the initial conditions of the output signal are given as y of 0 is equal to 1 dy of t by dt at time t is equal to 0 is equal to minus 2. So, it is nothing but dy of 0 by dt. That is value is minus 2. So, here the question is to find the natural response. So, in this solution part as we know that the natural response is the response of the system due to initial values of the output alone. Here the input is 0. So, whatever is given in this right hand side with x of t all should be 0. So, then the given differential equation becomes d squared y of t by dt squared plus 6 dy of t by dt plus 5 y of t is equal to 0 because the input signal is 0. Then we have to take Laplace transform on both the sides. So, we can get Laplace transform of d squared y of t by dt squared plus 6 is a constant we can write like this and 6 Laplace transform of dy of t by dt plus 5 Laplace transform of y of t is equal to 0. So, after that we have to use the differentiation property of the Laplace transform here. So, Laplace transform of d squared y of t by dt squared is nothing but what s squared y of s minus s y of 0 minus dy of 0 by dt. That is the Laplace transformed value of this d squared y of t by dt squared. Then plus 6 into Laplace transform of dy of t by dt is nothing but s into y of s minus y of 0 plus 5 into y of s is equal to 0. After that we have to substitute the initial values of the output signal. Here y of 0 is 1 dy of 0 by dt is minus 2. Substitute those values in this expression then we can get s squared y of s minus s into 1 minus of minus 2. So, it becomes plus 2 here plus 6 into s into y of s this y of 0 becomes 1. Okay, So, we can get plus 6 s y of s minus 6. So, we are going to multiply the 6 inside this bracket. So, we can get minus 6 plus 5 into y of s that is equal to 0. So, after that we are going to take this y of s as a common term from this 3 terms. So, here y of s is there, y of s is there, y of s is there. So, we can take it as a common one. So, y of s of s square plus 6 s plus 5. The remaining terms are minus s here plus 2 here minus 6. So, minus 6 plus 2 means minus 4 that is equal to 0. So, in the next step we are going to move this minus s minus 4 to this right hand side. 
so it becomes s plus 4 so e of s into s squared plus 6s plus 5 is equal to what s plus 4 so in the next step we have to move this s squared plus 6s plus 5 to this right hand side in the denominator so we can get s plus 4 divided by s squared plus 6s plus 5 after that we have to take the roots so roots of this quadratic equation is here we can get s plus 1 into s plus 5 so here you can use this logic 5 if you are going to multiply you will get 5 if you are going to add you will get 6 so we can use 5 into 1 so 1 5 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 or else you can use the root value as s is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a that formula also you can use to find out the roots of the given quadratic equation so this s squared plus 6s plus 5 becomes s plus 1 into s plus 5 so next step we are going to use the partial fraction method so in this partial fraction method we can get a by s plus 1 plus b by s plus 5 after that we have to find out the values of a and b then substitute those values in this expression okay here we are going to find out the value of a so a is equal to s plus 4 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 5 we have, we have to write down this expression if we are going to find out the value of a means we have to multiply this with s plus 1 with the condition s is equal to minus 1 so here this s plus 1 and this s plus 1 cancel after that we have to substitute s is equal to minus 1 so we can get minus 1 plus 4 divided by minus 1 plus 5 finally a is equal to 3 by 4 likewise we can find out the value of b so b is equal to s plus 4 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 5 here we are going to find out the value of b so what is the denominator value of b it is s plus 5 so we are going to multiply this expression with s plus 5 uh, with the condition s is equal to minus 5 okay then cancel this and substitute s is equal to minus 5 here so we can get minus 5 plus 4 divided by minus 5 plus 1 is equal to what's this here it is minus 5 plus 4 means what it is minus 1 divided by here minus 5 plus 1 means minus 4 so minus minus cancel we can get 1 by 4 okay so b is equal to 1 by 4 after that we have to substitute those values in the expression y of s is equal to 3 by 4 by s plus 1 plus 1 by 4 by s plus 5 so then we are going to take the inverse Laplace transform on both sides so here it is inverse Laplace transform of y of s is equal to 3 by 4 is a constant we can take it outside 3 by 4 inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 1 plus 1 by 4 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 5 okay so here inverse Laplace transform of y of s is nothing but y of t that is equal to 3 by 4 1 by s plus 1 that means e power minus t into e of t you all know that right 1 by s plus a is means what its inverse laplace transform is e power minus a t into e of t instead of a we are having 1 so in this one 1 by 4 1 by s plus 5 s plus 5 means e power minus 5 t into e of t e of t is a common term we can take it outside then we can write natural response of the given system o of y n of t is equal to 3 by 4 e power minus t plus 1 by 4 e power minus 5 t into e of t this is the answer the next problem is to determine the forced response of the system described by the equation using laplace transform so this is the given system in terms of differential equation so 5 dy of t by dt plus 10 y of t that is equal to x of t and the input signal is given as x of t is equal to e power minus 3t into e of t. So here in the solution part, we are going to start with what is forced response. Forced response is the response of the system due to input alone. Here we have to consider zero initial conditions for the output signal. Okay. So here first step is to take the Laplace transform on both the sides of the given expression. So here 5 into Laplace transform of dy of t by dt plus 10 Laplace transform of y of t is equal to 
Laplace transform of x of t. So in the next step, we are going to use differentiation property of the Laplace transform here. So find this Laplace transform of dy of t by dt is s into y of s minus y of 0 plus 10 y of s that is equal to x of s. So next step, we are going to multiply this 5 inside this. We can get 5s y of s plus 10 y of s is equal to 0. Why? Because because the initial condition of the output signal is 0. So, this y of 0 becomes 0. Do you all understand? That is why we just ignore this term. In the next step, we are going to take this y of s as a common one. Then 5s plus 10 is there. That is equal to x of s. So, here we are going to move this 5s plus 10 to this right hand side to its denominator value. So, y of s is equal to x of s divided by 5s plus 10. In this denominator, 5 is a common term. So, we can take it outside, outside 1 by 5 into x of s divided by s plus 2. Consider this as the first equation. In the next step, we are going to find out the value of this x of s and then substitute that value here. Okay? So, here x of t is given as e power minus 3t u of t. We are going to take the Laplace transform for this input signal. So, here it becomes x of s. So, x of s is equal to what? Laplace transform of e power minus 3t u of t is 1 by s plus 3. We are going to substitute this x of s value in this first equation. Okay, then that equation becomes y of s is equal to 1 by 5 into 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3. Okay. So, here y of s is equal to 1 by 5 using partial fraction method a by s plus 2 plus b by s plus 3. Consider this as the second equation. So, next we are going to find out the values of a and b. After that, substitute those values in the second equation. Okay. So, here to find out the value of a, for that, we have to multiply this expression with this s plus 2. So, 1 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 3 multiplied with s plus 2. Here, the condition is s is equal to minus 2. Okay. So, here this term and this term cancel. Then, we can get 1 by minus 2 plus 3 that is equal to 1. So, a value is 1. Likewise, we can find out the value of b here. So, b is equal to 1 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 3 multiplied with s plus 3 that is the denominator of this b okay and here we should not consider this 1 by 5 it is the common term it is outside of this bracket okay so we are uh, we are not taking this 1 by 5 here okay so don't confuse much and here in the next step we have to simply cancel this and substitute s is equal to minus 3 so 1 divided by minus 3 plus 2 means b is equal to minus 1 Okay, then we have to substitute these two values a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1 in the second equation y of s is equal to 1 by 5 of 1 that is the value of a 1 by s plus 2 minus 1 divided by s plus 3. After that we are going to take the inverse Laplace transform on both the sides. So inverse Laplace transform of y of s is equal to 1 by 5 inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 2 minus inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 3. Finally, we can get y of t is equal to 1 by 5 e power minus 2t. 1 by s plus 2 means what? e power minus 2t into u of t minus 1 by s plus 3 means e power minus 3t into u of t. After that, we can further simplify it as uh, 1 by 5 of e power minus 2t minus e power minus 3t into u of t. Okay, this is the answer of the given problem. That is the forced response of the given system.